lost that love and feeling over 16 years ago, but luckily for us, he's recently found new passions. Take a look. I can't tell you the things that you need to hear. I just can't. Now, please, just, just forget about me. I'm not worth it. So, I was a fool to love you? To marry you? To wait for you to come back to me? No, don't blame yourself. Just let me leave. Just walk out of your life for good this time. I don't want to hurt you any more than I already have. Then there is more that you're not telling me. I am more sorry than you'll ever know for the things that I've done, Pilar. Please welcome Richard Steinmetz. Thank you. I haven't seen yourself. you in like, I don't time. know, 90, 14 Yeah, 1990, 1990. Yeah, Barbara yeah. Crampton's house. That's it's the right. last time I remember you. It's about that far back. Wow. When I first came to Los yeah. Angeles. That's what I love about this job. I get to run you into reminisce with everybody. all the people I know. that I knew in that old days. It's true. And I want to tell you, by the way, congratulations. Uh, I heard you had a baby girl. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I'll take a little handshake out of the deal. Hold on, Thank I'm you, sir. That. That's nice. Unbelievable. Well, yeah. you're, you're, a, you're a dad yourself. Yeah, your story's amazing, though. It's an though. amazing story. Thank you. Can you uh, share with, with our audience? I have, well, I have three. Now it's five, but three adopted kids. They're black kids, and, uh, yeah. Fantastic. Now you have five. So now you have five total. Oh, how great. Wow. Well, there's three of them, Trevor, Joe, boys. and Troy. That's, uh, I started coaching Pop Warner football. That's them a little older. There's a little yeah. grandson right there, a little Wow. Chucky there on the left. Come on. The phone. He's so adorable, how, that kid. How did it all come yeah. about? You were coaching Pop Warner. Co Coach Pop Warner football when they were eight years old, and then their mother asked after the end of the season, could Trevor give you a call to come and hang out? And I said, sure. Not expecting him to ever call. He did. Went picked him and Joe up, asked if his brother could come along, and then we just started doing things. Disneyland, Magic Mountain. They didn't even know there was salt in the, uh, in the ocean. And we wow. would do things. They've never been to the ocean? Never or? been to the ocean. They live up there by USC. And then uh, we just kind of grew up together. Now, how are they doing now? I heard one's playing college football in Nevada, the... Reno on a Division one A scholarship. That's amazing. Wow. The Wolfpacks oh, wide receiver. Yeah. yeah. Are you, you still could... coaching football? I coach football, but I coach high school now. Really? Uh, yeah. I was defensive coordinator at Hollywood High School for Are a couple of years. Me? Yeah, now at Venice High School. Wow. So you love football, obviously. I do, I do. Were I you just, a player yourself? When I was in high school. But I just I just understand the game. And our team last year went to the Coliseum and played in front of about 40,000 for the city champion. Wow. Well, that's what I was going to say. I mean, you know, people don't realize what a time commitment high school football yeah. is. I mean, big time. it is 70, 80, 90 hours a week. It's big time. I try to juggle the two as best I can. How are you able to do that with passions now? It's hard, but their understanding of my, of, uh, my practice schedule. Got so I, I can go to as many practices as I can, but then I don't miss games. They let me out for games. Do they really? Uh, I missed one. That's okay. Yeah. Did you win when you missed? Cool. Uh, yeah, we beat the hell out of them. All right. Beat the heck out of them. Oh, sorry. that's right. You can say I no. stop swearing. So how does it feel being back on a soap after all these years? Um, it's great because the people I work with, I love them all over there, which makes it that much nicer. Yep. Yeah. A lot of work. Of course. A lot of work. You're no stranger to work, you though, obviously. We know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that show Loving I did before was half hour. This is an hour, so we, took, we put in double time. Yeah. Yeah. So it's pretty good. Now, what did you do with, after you left Loving, what did you do with your time? You, you did a lot of traveling, right? A lot of traveling. Went to Italy a lot, which is where my mother's from anyway, and then went to South Africa. Ended up hosting the Miss World pageant four years in a row. Now, why How's South that South Africa? <laughs> uh, South Africa, because Loving was big over there. Same oh. as in Italy, so I went and... <laughs> Capitalize. Yeah, yeah. You're like, uh, let's smart see, movie. where else am I showing in the world? Yeah, okay, I want to visit family, there. too, though. Smart. Yeah, yeah very smart. Good like soccer. Yeah, now, you were a professional player. soccer player. Yeah. NASL. A few years back. Yeah, yeah. Years was this back. previous to acting? Okay. Uh, it was. How do you yeah. go from professional soccer player to acting? What made you want to make the transition? I always knew I was going to be an actor you since did. I was in seventh grade, and the soccer thing was just something I did well, so I did it, and then I realized I'm not going to continue doing this, so I'm going to do what I want to do. I moved to San Francisco. What was your first, uh, first big acting gig? That would be in New York as Humpty Dumpty. Oh. <laughs> I know you have a picture of that oh, somewhere. Oh, there you are. Humpty Dumpty falls in love. That's very funny.
Yeah. And then you got the bug. Yeah. I did get the bug. That's yeah. That's funny. That's yeah. good stuff, though. Now, I hear you also moved into an, an, a retirement home. You were living in a retirement home. Oh, yeah, that's home. an interesting story. Well, that, that was in San Francisco when I left the soccer to oh, okay. go there. And, well, I'm, You're like, I'm retired from soccer. It counts. <laughs> but I'm also a bust-out actor now at the time doing theater. So it's a place where you work 17 and a half hours a week for room and board. You live with all the senior citizens. And that, that's what you did. Shared a room with another guy, bathroom down the hall. Yeah. But you get a chance to spend with all these elderly people, which was great. What did you learn, learn from things. the experience? Oh, quite a bit. Did you? Know, you? you yeah, because you, you see how some of these people, like there's the old guy Joe who was from New York and he was very bitter. So you see where their life has gone and to what they are now because a lot of them have been abandoned by their families yeah. or, or so in a nicer way, that's just a place they want to be because there's other people there. One woman yeah. lived to be 100 years old. We celebrated her birthday right there at the home. Yeah. Now, actors yeah. are extremely resourceful when it comes to paying the rent, paying the, the bills. You have an interesting story about how you went about paying your rent. Well, I was back, that was before the home. That's okay. why I went to the home. I got it. A friend of a friend played a little backgammon. Want a little money off of them and paid my rent for a little while. You yeah. played your rent paying back at Yeah, I did for a little while. You were so <laughs> He owed me a heck of a lot more. Yeah. So I took his briefcase, a nice leather one, and said, let me live here for about six months, three months. And there you go. Now, yeah. any more kids in your future? Biological, maybe? I wish. Yeah. I would like that. You seem very nurturing and right up that father alley. Uh, yeah. I mean, come on. To, to have foster children like that, I mean, is that what we really call them? Or um, kind of like a big brother? Or? You know what? I, don't, what I just it? call them my kids. You do? Yeah. They're, they're my kids. Yeah. I make all their decisions. Really? I mean, you know, up to a point they're yeah. 18 yeah. and then I give them. But I wouldn't treat my own biological kids any different than I Isn't treated them great? at all. Well, you're, you're a good person. You're really right. good person. That's that is such a great happen. story. Yeah. Now, hey, what's this nickname they have for you in the uh, Passions Wardrobe Department? What are you oh, called? Sexy Daddy. <laughs> sexy Daddy, I'll have to agree. Well, there you go. Sexy Daddy. Nice. Thank you. Thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it very much.